Right, the setup. Hardly the most exciting uh, title for a uh, mission, but might well uh, prove worthwhile. You like the fight game, Phelps? I did a little boxing in the Marines. I found it a pretty humbling experience. Fix your sandwich, buddy. Corn beef and egg salad, 12 cents. Bologna and ham and cheese, 10. It's strictly a mugs game. You'll like this fight, though. A plucky limey's about to take a beating from an up-and-coming Negro. You sound pretty sure about the result. I ought to be. I got 50 bucks on the black kid. Let's get a ringside seat. Something shady's gonna go down here, I can tell. Somebody just lost 50 bucks. That son of a bitch Hammond made a run for his dressing room. Let's find out what's going on. God damn you, Albert! You get out here right now! Step back. LAPD. What's going on? That son of a bitch Hammond has jammed the door. And who are you? Carlo Arcaro. I'm his manager. I'm his trainer. Interesting attitude to have towards a victorious athlete. Victorious? We had an arrangement. We had a goddamn arrangement! That limey <laughs> bastard was paid to take a nap. He reneged. And you were out of pocket? Damn right. Me and a couple of hundred other people. Stand aside. I think he has legged it. He squeezed out the window. I'll put an APB out on him. Why would we do that? He won the fight fair and square. To prevent him from getting clipped. He was paid to flop. There was big money riding on this So are fight. we here because you lost money or because we're investigating a prize fighting racket? Very funny. Look around and see what you can find. Which is Hammond's locker? Over by the pin board, second from the end. There's a phone number we can run by R&I. Plus a bunch of names and odds. You're not the only one who likes a flutter, Roy. Boxing glove in a boxing uh, place. No, would have thought of that. Oh, some more backstory. Let's see the story behind the newspaper. You look troubled. I'm in a jam, doctor. Can I help, Courtney? Is it money? No, no, doctor. That's okay. Do I have your professional confidence? Whatever you say, we'll never leave this room. I talked some of the guys in my old unit into doing something, and it's gone wrong. I guess I did it for the wrong reasons, for short-term gain. We came home from China on the Cool Bridge. The morphine robbery. That was us. I thought I could get the guys a fair share. Some sort of benefit for the sacrifices that they made in the war. Those guys deserve it, Doctor. Oh, I'm sure they do, Courtney. But the deserving aren't always rewarded. Tell me about it, Doc. Uh, we shifted our stuff onto this mob-connected guy, and it's been turning up all over town. 
It wasn't meant to be like this. The presumption was rather naive, Courtney. I know that now, Doctor. But people are dying. Hmm. Might I venture a few questions? Sure. Do your underworld contacts have all the morphine? No, they don't. We doled it out, hoping we could control it. Are they pressing you for further allocation? That's the polite way of putting it, Doctor. I may be able to help you, Courtney. Thanks, Doc. It helps just to talk about it. I mean, I have a solution that will help you financially and salve your conscience. I'm all ears, Doctor. I will transact to take all the narcotic off your hands. You can rest assured that it will all be medically administered. I will use the funds that I no longer require for the purchase of medication and invest them in housing developments. Housing? The developments in question are housing projects for former servicemen. Your return will come from the sale of the properties, and your investment will benefit those that you care for most. Does this arrangement meet with your approval? You're a magician, Doctor. go Is there anything else? I can't certainly certainly can't see anymore else, but the uh, music hasn't gone off. Oh well. You better find that cocksucker and you bring him to me. I feel bad too, Mickey. He guaranteed me he would take the flop. I guarantee that you will be fish food if you don't bring me... Roy, you out of pocket too? Mickey, seems that way. Don't worry about it. My boys are out looking for him. Well, you'd better call them off. This is a police matter now. If anything happens to Hammond, I'll testify that you made threats against him. Who's the Greyhound? He's a frisky one, isn't he? Cole Phelps? Mickey Cohen. I know who he is, Roy. I, uh, met his brother-in-law. I think you had the mixture pretty scared back there. Operator, message for KGPL. What are you doing now? Phelps badge 1247. How could I help, Detective? I need an address for the following phone number. AL345. The address for the phone number is... The Hotel El Mar, 6294 Leland Way, Hollywood. Thank you. All right, got the address. So let's get there. You know the place? Flop house. Quarter a night, no questions asked. You seem to have a pretty cozy relationship with Cohen and Stampanato. Do I note a hint of reprimand in your tone, detective? Talking to gangsters comes with the turf. You should try out Mickey's place. He's got a haberdasher's up on Sunset. See if he can get you out of those old man's clothes that you slink around in. It's a front for his illegal activities. It is that, but he does carry some very sharp suits.
Yeah, what do you want? LAPD. We're making inquiries into the whereabouts of an Albert Hammond. No one here by that name. You sure? Sure, I'm sure. This isn't the sort of place where people use their real names. Take a look at the register if you don't believe me. If the women don't find you handsome, they should at least find you handy. Okay, so look for prominent Tommies. That should narrow it down. Hey! Fuck you! Winston Churchill. A very patriotic Englishman is staying in room 207. The old bulldog. Even at a flop house, Adley can't get out from his shadow. <laughs> Bit of English politics in there. Looks like he's had a broad up here. Instaheat. Adrian Black's product of choice. Seems like a lifetime ago. Candy has expensive taste. Albert has his work cut out for him. All right, let's go after his girl. See if that gets us any closer. Who's Candy? Candy Edward. Does Albert have somebody special? I didn't see anyone in his corner at the fight. The yummy, yummy chocolates. Got me hungry now. I guess a fighter has plenty of time on his hands between bouts. He must be heading home. You know, I hope he makes it. That crooked son of a bitch, no chance. Mouth guard. No good to me. Lipstick on the cigarettes. This angle if he has a real love interest. Looks like Albert has been doing some homework. Eleven grand would be a nice little nest egg. More like twelve. Right. Like I was already sitting in the car. Lazy arsehole. So, you boxed in the Marines? We all did. Standard training. I can't imagine you ever played dirty. The only prize for taking a fall was a thousand push-ups. We need to know which room is Candy's. LAPD, ma'am. We're looking for Candy Edwards. Apartment 7. You take the outside stairs by the parking lot and turn left at the top. You friends of the Italian guy? Italian guy? Yeah. Sweezy type. Gave his name as Carlo. I didn't like the look of him, but Candy has some funny friends. Thanks. This Candy broad must be as sweet as she sounds. All these gentlemen callers. Give it up, Sounds bitch. Like we're He's gone and fucked both there, of us. Oh, what a bastard. Like hitting whip. <laughs> this isn't gonna end well for you, friend. Oh, 
Oh, you landed right on her. <laughs> Out cold, but breathing. Give her a minute and take a look around. Nasty weapon. All the Italians carry them. A real man uses his fists or a gun. Oh, just give it in bat, why don't you? Not like he could use it or anything. Carlo here seems to have the same friends as Hammond. What are the odds on them all being bookmakers? Is he knocking them off with the X's? on your hands, okay then. She's leaving town. Figured that. Same lipstick or nope. something? Nope. Doesn't look like anything. Single ticket. One way. I guess there isn't a lot for Albert in Ohio. Scania sails from New York. Take a seat, Miss Edwards. We have some questions for you to answer. Look, I haven't done anything wrong. Ever? I find that pretty hard to believe. Can you answer some questions now, Miss Edwards? Sure, I've had worse. I'll shake it off. We're trying to track down Albert Hammond. We have reason to believe he might be in danger. Do you know where he is? No, I don't. I'm over Albert. I haven't seen him. Save it for the suckers, Candy. Albert won big. He may not have told you, but you don't strike me as the type who leaves town when there's money to be had. Call me anything you like, Flatfoot. We're done with this burg and all the cheap chiselers who live here. Damn it. Do the names Harry, Mervyn, or Ray mean anything to you? Could be anybody. How the hell would I know? Give up these men, Miss Edwards, and we'll think about letting these charges against you slide. Can't read some what? of these people in this game. Charges against me? All I did was try and look out for Albert. Now he skips out and I have to take beatings for him as well? You're leaving town, Miss Edwards? Yes, I'm going straight home. Albert is going home by boat as soon as he collects his winnings. I know you're going to meet him. Albert is going to collect nothing. He'll be lucky if he can get out of town in one piece. How will you fare any better? They already believe you're in on it. Hell, I know you're in on it. You can think what you want, Buster. I'll take my chances. I got a few errands to run, and then I say adios to this dump. Damn, only well, get out of your way, Candy. We know you're a busy lady. Like I said, I've done nothing wrong. The LAPD expects a little more cooperation. You'd better watch your back, sister. Get out, Carlo, you hump. And get rid of that pig sticker. You ever pull that thing on me, I'll shoot you like a dog. That bitch knows where Hammond is. She knows where my money's gone. My money too, tough guy. I'll handle this. Bad people are looking to hurt Candy, and yet she's not heading straight for the train station? I smell a payoff. I say stake her out. See where she goes. Yeah, yeah, tailing mission. My favorite. Been waiting here a long time. Tailed is broad. Don't let her get away, but don't get spotted. 
I'll bring up the car behind you. Just reading a newspaper, I'm doing nothing suspicious whatsoever. Certainly not trying to tell you. behind this car. Much slack. Can I get closer? Move in. I risk losing the trail.
Where are you going? store bookmakers yes surprise surprise we really have to get in the car to do that They've been talking a about blonde woman just came in here. Want another she went out the back way. Said she was being watched. How much does she collect? $3,600. She cleaned me out. On wow. the Hamilton Galahad fight? You got it. I'm not complaining. We all made a lot of money on that one. Huge plunge on Galahad, and then Hammond knocks the bum out. So she collected the money and went out through the back door? Nope. She made a phone call over there, wrote something on a notepad, and then left. Well, we've tried to uh, see what's been written on the notepad before. Let's do it again. An old intelligence trick from the Marines. I like doing this. We know where she's headed. Let's get moving. Hey, Cole, not in public, huh? Well, if she got out of the way, it won't matter, would it? Star 11K, 11 King. Further to your request, Bumco Fraud has three known bookmakers operating out of storefronts in the Hollywood area. Thrifty Liquor, 6106 Santa Monica, the Examiner Drugstore, and a Max Sturitz at 1658 North Cherokee. Can you be and backed himself to win. And Candy is picking up the winnings. Smart play. The question is, is Candy collecting on Albert's behalf or is she cheating him too? This really is an advice case, I think, to be honest. Oh dear. Phelps! Not very many drugs involved. Vice in America considers more than just drugs, gambling and any other kind of addiction maybe. Detectives Phelps and Earl, LAPD. Relax, Cole. You just have a blonde in here, Mervyn? Sure did. I'm just about to close up. She took me to the cleaners. 4,000 clams and change. How long ago did she leave? Maybe five minutes. Called the cab, asked for a number. I told her there was a card over there by the phone. Yellow cab, we need to get after her fast. Operator, give me dispatch. Putting you through now. Can you connect me to the Yellow Cab Company? Hollywood 2187, please. This is Detective Phelps, LAPD. You dispatched a cab to 1487 Ivar Avenue, Hollywood. Yes, sir. Send one round from the pool. Do you have the number of that cab? We're done playing around. Get Mervyn to give us an address on Ray's place. Do we have to 
question this guy? planning on cleaning out every bookmaker in town. Hammond needed to make sure he was getting a bigger payday than if he'd taken the flop. Never trust the limeys, especially where a fight's concerned. A mistake we can't seem to stop making. All units in the vicinity and any central unit. Citizen reports a 415-7 Unit to handle code 2. Identify. What are you doing? Driving very, very badly. That's all. Right to start with, I have to question myself. That's the cab waiting up ahead. She's not in the car. Don't get too close. She must be inside. There she is. We're on the move again, Cole. After her. Don't lose that cab. stops is she gonna make? Too close, Phelps. Way too close. You got a pretty funny idea of what keeping a low profile means, Phelps. Sorry. That's it. We're spotted. Back off. Back off! Now would be a bad time to forget how to drive. That bitch has given me what I'm owed. That's all I know. Yeah. Fuck. Only slightly tapped that car. How much of attention is she paying, for Christ's sake? We're on the move again, Cole. After her. Don't lose that cab. I hate tailing the missions. In any game, I hate them. And, uh, yeah. I just don't think that they're all that much fun. Especially in games that have better, you know, gameplay elements in other areas. How many stops is she gonna make? Careful, we'll get spotted at this distance. Hammond is full of himself, being this sure he was gonna win. Not fit the, the amount of action going on in the game. I'm 
afraid. Whoa, back off before we get made. Can you quit driving like a jackass already? That ought to do it. Now get back in close. I think I just saw Hammond. I'll tail him. You get in there and stay with Candy. Make sure you don't let her see you. That broad's got socks in his Is somebody gonna tell us what the hell is going on? Oh, well. Oh, shit. Sorry. Wasn't paying attention there. Pull over. Is that it? I think I just saw Hammond. I'll tail him. You get in there and stay with Candy. Make sure you don't let her see you. Uh, you got a problem? How? This town's dangerous. How's that just been paid look about him? That ain't a good sign. Roy! Call an ambulance. Hammond got away. <coughs> it's, it's that Just try and sit still, Candy. Make Who shot you? Was it Albert? Car. They're on the way. Too late. I have a patrolman searching the depot. The chief's putting together a manhunt for Hammond. He got the money, right? Looks like it. A tough bird, our limey friend. Using his girlfriend as the bag woman and then getting greedy over the split. He won't make it out of town. That's how you see it? I told you that cocksucker was a crook. Any evidence? Thirty two caliber, one shot fired. Well, it takes sometimes just one shot. The rest of that uh, stop ticket. Egyptian theater. So what now? The theater, I guess. We don't have much else to go on. way out. Let's 
get Roy to drive us there for once. I've done all of the driving in this game so far. Can you drive to this one? All right, where to? Poor girl. She didn't deserve that. Poor girl. Half the precinct aren't taking a vacation this year because of her. You need to leave town a lot quicker than that if you decide to screw over Mickey C. This seems, seems like a long anything. shot. Aren't they all? Car 11 K, Car 11 King, come in. Car 11 King. A message from the coroner. The cause of death was a knife wound. Repeat, a knife wound. The revolver appears to have belonged to the victim. KGB Son of a bitch. He stabbed her. <laughs> I thought you said real men use their fists, not guns. That guinea cocksucker. You think he got the money too? Come on, Roy. We're bringing this whole tragedy to its conclusion. She was running out on me. And you were gonna let her? No, I let her collect. I set her up, just like she set me up. Just like my manager set me up. Everyone wanted me to take a dime. Everyone wanted me to take a short money. It's for the best thing. You were washed up, kid! You couldn't climb, and you were too brave to sink. You were going nowhere! Maybe, but I had heart. I was a Royal Marine, Carlo. If I lost a fight, it wasn't for lack of trying, and it wasn't for lack of courage. I didn't have much, but I had that. I did it for you, and that's how you repay me! You did it for yourself, so did little boy. You did it to make a quick gun by now. Candy did it to make her dream come true. Blah, blah, blah! I've got the money, all I need to do is get rid of you. It's gonna be a shame, kid, but that's business. We've heard enough, Arcaro. Put down your weapon. You're making a big mistake, Arcaro. Come on, Carl. how was it dead? Hand on two and find him. Carlo's already dead, you? I'm afraid. You whiny cocksucker. Is dead. It's time to come out now, Hammond. Put the gun down, Roy. That son of a bitch owes me a lot of money. Catch. Escania sails from New York, Hammond. Be on the next train and don't ever come back. Why? Because I was a Marine and I once lacked courage. Everyone deserves a second chance. Now beat it. You. That English prick is getting away with my money, Phelps. It's only fifty dollars, for Christ's sake. Sure I'm hearing more money rumors than that. of a fight that was fixed, of gangsters looking to get square, that LAPD cops might be involved. Either of you two sons of bitches know anything about that? No, sir. So the dead <laughs> wop who turned up in this theater, who used to be a boxing manager, who murdered Candy Edwards. Has nothing to do with the fix? Absolutely not. Earl, you're doing venereal disease citations until you can learn to stop lying to me. Phelps, got anything to add? 
Uh, no, sir. Get your uniform from your locker. You're back on the street. Oh, shit. Finally been knocked back down. So, yeah, there we go. Not as much vehicle damage as last time, no city damage at all, and no injuries, uh, but with Candy headed for the morgue, you won't have a second chance to get a full story. Sadly not. So, uh, yeah, we only got one out of three questions right there, but we did get all the clues, but only one star. Damn it. Uh, but nonetheless, there we go. So, yeah, let's move on to the uh, next vice case. Well, it might not be even a vice case, it might just be on Beat Patrol now, but nonetheless, let's get on with it.